Hey guys, welcome to episode 1 of Crunk and Matt Making Tips and Tricks. In this quick video, we're going to be going over how to make this effect, which is like walking on ice in Crunker, just using a few ramps. So this is the effect. I can go around, I slide around, I'm not touching my keyboard right now, and uh, the floor looks pretty sweet and uh, flat, and yeah, you just slide around. It's a pretty cool effect. Uh, it's fun to use in maps, and it's just uh, genuinely pretty cool. So real quick, how we make this, uh, we've got two ramps here. Uh, one, as you can see over here, is got uh, 0 0.1 and the oh sorry negative 0 0.1 and the other is at 0.1 and these two ramps are identical other than their opposite uh, boost values and that pretty much uh, is constantly pulling the play in opposite direction causing this sort of ice effect as you can see I've got another uh, cube under here and that's just in case the player glitches through they won't fall out of the map and uh, if you're doing more ramps and stuff if you want to have more fail safe for this you can just add more cubes underneath so real quick, I'm going to show you guys how you can make this from start to finish. So first you're going to want to ramp. What you're going to do is you're going to want to make this flat, extrude it down to whatever shape you want it to be, right? Then come over here, you're going to want to make this boost negative 0.1, right? That's all you need. And then use Shift R to duplicate that, and then just make that a positive 0.1. I'm just going to delete the negative, and this should totally work. And if you want that extra safety, of course you can grab a cube, and you can just extrude it out to be a similar shape or whatever you want, and put that underneath. Now, if we move our spawn over this, as you should see, if we just give this a quick test, uh, it works exactly like the other one, and we're sliding around and having a wonderful time. Anyway, thank you for watching the video, guys. Please uh, check in later for some more of these quick map-making tips and tricks, and I'll see you another time.